Hi there, my name is Dan Buster C. Litboot, DC Litboot for short. Welcome to my channel. And welcome back to Attack of the Saucer Man. In our previous escapades, Ed has braved chasms, beaky birds, and lava pits in search of Nedko's prehistoric base. He has tracked them down. Time to finish this. And here's Zunk left to his own devices, which was a bunch of extra lives for company. Ed, of course, is inside the uh, Grimlide magma plant. <laughs> which is strange because they didn't think he manufactured magma, it came from volcanoes, but. Uh, Unless it means that the uh, Grimlars are trying to uh, weaponize the stuff to uh, use as a power source, like an Eternal Engine or something, but uh, either way, it's gonna shut their. Uh, shut down their, their little factory. Oh, rolling barrels everywhere. This looks a bit dangerous. What the? I was exploding. Did that guy just explode? Yeah, he exploded and all. Oh, yeah. There's a lot up there, but I can't get up there with that slidey ledge and that slidey platform. I've got a laser gun here. Yeah. Take him out quickly. Maybe I'll be over, 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 overwhelmed with enemies if I'm ready to tackle them. An extra, extra life. Yeah. What does that do? Oh, it turns off the barrel. That's good. Is that, is that a special shield? Oh, we got ourselves a shield. An instant shield. Looks a bit dangerous. And one of the stupid designs of this level is that uh, if you miss a jump and fall in the lava pit, there's nobody to get out. Oh dear. And then either way, there's a blooming door there, which you can't pass through this time. I better, uh, I better come back. I'm gonna find somewhere I can. There must be some way of opening that door. Exploding heads. They try to be scary with their silly laughs, but. Uh, oh, oh. Don't be a bad surprise there. How many shots does that thing take? Maybe I should have used the, used the hoop laser instead. Hoop, hoop shot is much more powerful. Uh, is there something up here I can make use of? Oh, I'll turn it off. Turn it off for a start. It's going to be a nuisance. <laughs> that was effective. Uh, Grimlords are on patrol. A surprise for them. Can I put it in the right way? Ed? Thank you. Seriously, you're wasting your shots completely shooting at walls. You couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. You'd be standing next to it. Ah, now that's. The control panel that opened the other door over there, so now I can go that way. Oh, I didn't know about that. At least, yes, I probably knew about it from previous gameplays, but I forgot about it this time.
Right, that would be another way forward. There's a lava fall, only with the primitive graphics, they couldn't animate the lava properly, he had to use fire particles instead. <laughs> Not very effective, really. If he's exploding dead. If we thought those robo humans from the uh, body snatchers level were, were pretty gory, they'd just blindly charge at you, trying to throw them so that you. Those nitroglycerine nut men, this is their name according to the manual. Um, even as uh, robotized suicide bombers, they're still as stupid as ever. Save anyway before they chuck themselves in the lava pit. <sighs> what the hell happened? Why did Ned catch? Why did Ed catch fire? There was there was nothing there to catch fire on. That didn't make any sense. Oh, stupid. What's with these barrels over the place? Who's chucking these things about? Uh, Ed, I've noticed something. A bad something. I can't kind of pick you up. There's a big flame on top of the reactor, so I can't land there. You'll have to turn it all first. Don't look at me, Ed. Oh, we could have saved that. Just a sliver off of health, of our full health. Let's get rid of that. I can move in. Uh, save that. We might need it later. <laughs> mm. More of those darn Grimrods about. Better work our way up very carefully. now. Well, we seem to be faced with two closed barriers. Hmm. Must be able to turn it off. I mean, it's absurd how much punishment these guys can take. Is not picking up the hell's item just yet. Looks like that platform that's floating back down there is used to reach that platform, that, that, that lever. Probably just easy to shoot it from here. That looks like our way forward. Crazy exploding nades. Actually, stop blowing themselves up all over the place. Are they really so nervous that they start hyperventilating and exploding? For no reason at all. Oh, whatever. Nothing else for us down here, I think. The. Uh, that lever, that lever's reached the edge that goes to that lever is here. And there's a, a 
teleportation pod. An extra life. <laughs> well, that's welcome. Up to the checkpoint, we should be finding one of the barriers is open. So let's follow the breadcrumb trail and see where it leads us. Shooting barrels about here. Ah. I, see, I, I see you there. It's not having any, it's not having any of that nonsense. Kaboom! <laughs> Chucking those things at me, will you? Like, oh. Did you really just um, trap yourself in the corner there, Aid? After completely missing those green eyes, I told you to shoot. Flipping it. There's just no window of. Uh, there's just no window to get past those things. <laughs> How many times do I have to shoot those guys, even with hoop lasers, in order to get rid of them? Making make them themselves the right nuisance. Sounds like there's a... There's a Ned stuck in here somewhere. <laughs> I really wish that these... I really wish that he didn't die so easily. I just don't get enough window of opportunity with these. Okay. As far as health is concerned. Can someone please stop shooting those things at me? It's dangerous enough around here without those as well. Hmm. Another that barrier over here. You're telling me I've got to take the long way round? There's no switch to turn off that barrier. So I've got to jump across this precarious platform section. Just remember that. Just get that, that checkpoint before anything else happens. And that life. Do you mind? just came out, the bridge just came out of the lava. Isn't that a bit, um, you know, dangerous? I mean, do I have to wait a, f a few minutes for that thing to cool down after being in hot lava for Lord knows how long? <laughs> Nicely done, Pod. Flanked them. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they had me flanked. Okay. 
get that nuisance out of the way. What's this now? Was that half a bridge? Um, that's supposed to take me somewhere because evidently energy. Well. I guess rid of that. Evidently, I need to go up there, and there's no way over. No way. Wait, wait what's that? There's a hidden lever under the platform. Does that have a. What does that do for us? Aha! Fortunately, it's a bit of full health now. Uh, this must be the lever we want. If that's better, we can land the mothership now. Good. Wait here for me then. I still have to do. I still have to take care of that reactor core. We may need to make a quick escape. According to Egghead Stater, the core will be protected by shields as always. You'll have to destroy them first, then take out the core. Yes, I know the deal. I know the deal. It seems to have its. Got his shields, and I can't very handle it very easy. Not to mention, it's got those defenses. It's going to be a bit of a. Haha! <laughs> Nukes! <sighs> We're gonna keep on the move with this thing. This, this raised platform seems to be our, our best line of... Uh, these race platforms seem to be our best position. You can't very easily... Oop! Oh, you can't very easily hit that core from the ground. We're going to be up on a, on a race platform. I also got to, also got to keep on the move. And these darn electro chasing us around. Here's where Pod's new nuke ability comes in handy. Keep on the move. It's not really. If I had figured out the, if I figured out the right way to deal with this boss, I used to have a great deal of trouble. I used to die a lot. Hopefully, I'm in a better position to deal with it this time. If I can get a clear shot in, I've got to go for that core and just take it out. I hope that I can... Oh, flippin' it. Those stupid... Those stupid robot nodes blocked my path and let me walk straight into that laser. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. I think. I think I'm making any dent that thing. Bit of a bit of a hit there. I saw his I saw that thing's health go down. I 
I didn't get any of the snares that drop out, they might be kind of drop, drop health items for me. I'm also going to watch out for that reactor's own defense system, because it's likely to... It's very likely to uh, hit me with his, with, with his own hoops. Oh, health item there. Okay, I'll get it on the way around again. Very successful with hitting that thing. Mm. Wait, how did he manage to hit? Me? How did he manage to hit me? That was, that was a lucky shot, if you ask me. As fast as I take out that thing's health, the, the faster it shoots its, its its own defense at me. I'm listening up that thing's listening up that thing's uh, charge sound effect. sound effect getting higher and higher, which can be considered the equivalent of labour breathing. Just ignore the Neds. They're just drawing my fire. Well, the Robo Neds. The, uh, the real Neds uh, uh, maybe have helped me if I can grab them. They might drop something I can pick up. Might be more life. Yeah. Drop this up. There's always a chance that those things might get in the way of my shots and prevent me from hitting it. You can see that the core has taken a lot of damage. <sighs> I believe you missed that. The hoops are our best shot. <laughs> that did some damage. It really did some damage. One more guy. One more hit should do it. If I can get in a shot without Ned's getting in the way. Almost there. I've almost got it. One more hit. Just one more. How the hell did that happen? What even what even killed me then? Get out of there, Ed! She's gonna blow! You thought it had, thought it had me beaten, but no. How did I find a way out of here? Where's that? Where's that bridge? Let's get out of here before I take more damage. Whew. What, no mushroom cloud? <laughs> Whew. That was... that was hairy. You did it, Ed! You got him! Kaboom! Quick, Zank! Get Ed... get... get Ed on the hall over here! I got to tell him the good news. 
It's over, Ed. <coughs> it's over. Yes, you're a mess. I know. Isn't it great? We've won! We've what? No, Ed. It's all over. We've lost. We're beaten. What? what? That, that's impossible. I destroyed the reactor. Nedco is finished. It's all too late, Ed. Big Bubba's troops stormed the palace and captured everyone. Homeworld is theirs. We are too late. This will be a good time for some sad music. <laughs> this is terrible, Zunk. The homeworld lost, and it's all our fault. We are too late. If only we could have turned back time or something. Wait, that's it! Uh, wh what's what, Ed? We've got... I've got an idea! We can turn back time! We, we've got the temporal device he captured! We can go back to Homeworld before the invasion force sets off for Earth! We can beat them at their own game! Zunk, prepare the mothership's drive for the jump. We're going back to the future. The last desperate plan set in motion. To save the homeworld from a tense bad future, Ed and Zunk must defeat Nedko in the past tense. But will they succeed in this latest time-twisting task? Or are they history? Find out in the future! For the present though, feel free to like, share and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio!